early spring in Mexico's Sonoran Desert, when nature gives diamondback rattlesnakes their wake-up call. They've spent the entire winter underground in a cozy lair, away from cold and predators. Now it's time to head outdoors and feel the warmth of the sun. The females are free to bask to their heart's content. Besides warming their bodies, the sun helps their eggs develop as they get ready to breed. Speaking of breeding, the mature males now have to fight it out to see who gets prime access to the females. The male rattlers perform a weird ritual of one-upsmanship. They stretch themselves to see which one is the biggest, tallest, and strongest. This is a fairly civilized ceremony. Considering diamondback venom inflicts everything from extensive tissue damage, swelling, and bleeding to death. The rival doesn't measure up. So he has to leave the Serpent King to his females. The females are rested and ready. They're resting together. The male checks them out to see if they're ready to breed. Male and female can stay locked in Congress for an entire day or more. Over all that time, neither gets rattled. It's time for a meal. Oh, yeah. Boy, they haven't eaten for five months. <laughs> no wonder they're hungry. A squirrel is spotted. And the snake's hematoxic venom instantly poisons the squirrel's blood. The diamondback is careful to align itself so it can swallow the head first. That way, the limbs fold neatly and the fur rubs the snake's innards the right way. The diamondback unhinges its jaws. This way it can swallow animals that are many times bigger than its own skull. One final yawn and the rattler resets its jaw. <laughs> 